All right, so let's move on to chapter 9, work. Okay. Um, in chapter 8, uh, what we saw was that we can, if we have external forces acting on a system, these external forces can potentially change the momentum of the system. In, in, in a similar way, these external forces can also change the energy of the system. Now, I wanna, want you to focus on this word can, because there are cases where you have external forces and they don't change the energy of the system. But external forces can change the energy of the system. If we consider if, you, uh, if your friend is on a bicycle and you begin to push your friend and um, they accelerate, that means that you've, you've, ec you've applied some external force and their energy has changed. The kinetic energy has increased. Okay, So that is to apply external forces to change the energy of that system. Okay, You can also apply these external forces to change the, not only the kinetic energy, but also the internal energy of a system. Okay, so um, if you stretch a spring or you crumple a piece of paper by exerting a force on it, then you have changed its physical state. And when you change the state, you change the internal energy. Okay, so before going into more detail, this is the definition of work. It is the change in the energy of a system due to external forces. Okay? It could be an increase in energy, a decrease in energy. It could be a change in kinetic energy, potential energy, internal energy. Work is the change in energy. And the unit, okay, the unit is the joule. So work is the change in energy. Okay. Now, with regards to force displacement, um, really work is if you transfer energy to or from a system. So um, let us consider, we'll consider some examples in a minute. Um, so the change in the system's energy is caused by external forces. However, let's look at this guy here. Remember, any interaction between objects within a system. R remember in chapter 8, if we had interaction between objects, what happened with those forces? They cancelled each other out. Okay? So in the same way, if we have interactions or forces between the objects within a system, all that they do is rearrange the energy between these objects, but they do not change the overall amount of energy of the system. It's exactly the same way as internal forces do not change the system's momentum. They change the individual objects within the system's momenta, but they do not change the overall system momentum. Only an interaction between an object inside the system and an object outside can potentially transfer energy across the system boundary. Okay, now the question is, do external forces always do work? Always cause a change in the energy of a system? That's, why, that's what I was trying to say earlier. External forces can change the energy of the system, but do they always cause a change? And the answer is no. So consider this example here of this person applying a force against a wall. Okay? So the person is applying a force, definitely. However, work is only done when something called the point of application moves. Right? So... Please take note of this. There's a point of application of the force. That's where the person is applying the force. And work is only done on the system if that point moves. So you can see in this case, uh, you, apply a, you apply a force against the wall. The person might be getting very tired, but the person... Okay, 
the person is not changing the kinetic energy of the wall, the person is not, cha is not deforming the wall, and the person is not causing the wall to raise its temperature necessarily, okay? So if none of those things are happening to the wall, then no work is being done on the wall. There's no energy transfer to the wall, okay? Whereas over here, if a person is pushing a cart, there's the point of application. There is a displacement, a force displacement. Okay, so it means the point of application is non-zero, which, mean the, the, which means that the person does work on the cart. There is an energy transfer to the cart. What about this example? Here we see there's not necessarily a kinetic energy change, but there is a deformation. There is an internal energy change. There's a potential energy change because the point of application has moved. So here the person does uh, do work on the mattress. Okay, guys? So external forces do not always do work on the system. It is only if those external forces cause the point of application to move. Okay? So this is what this is saying here. Um, in order for a force to do work, the point of application of the force must undergo a displacement. Okay?